PBS Utah presents free speech messages, offering ballot qualified candidates in select races the opportunity to speak to Utah voters. My great-great-grandfather, Silas Burgess, came to America in the belly of the slave ship. He was sold on an auction block in Charleston, South Carolina, to the Burgess Plantation. Years later, he escaped through the Underground Railroad to Smithville, Texas. There became a successful entrepreneur and a pillar of his community. He started the first black church, the first black elementary school, and purchased 102 acres of farmland that he paid off in just two years. He died a respected community leader, a loved father, and a proud American. His story from slavery to success is one that highlights the opportunity that prevails in our country to overcome overwhelming odds to live the American dream. I am grateful as a child growing up in the segregated South to have had examples everywhere, like my great-great-grandfather Silas, men driven to overcome and to achieve. Across our country, good people are overcoming overwhelming odds every day. It is our responsibility to lower the barriers that impede their pathway to success. We have a solemn duty to keep the promises we made to our seniors. We have an obligation to our children to equip them with education that will allow them to, to compete, regardless of the background or zip code. We owe it to parents to have choices that allow them to customize the education best suited for their own children. We are long overdue for a Congress that understands the importance of balancing our budget and not to encumber future generations with debt that is impossible to pay back. I believe in the America my great-great-grandfather believed in. Regardless of the obstacles, it is a nation where big dreams are possible. Unfortunately, if he were alive today, he would not recognize our country. Though he'd be excited to see members of his race that now have opportunities to start businesses, to marry whomever they fall in love with, to vote for whomever they choose, or to even run for Congress, I'm sure he'll be disappointed to see the anger and division between good people across political aisles. I'm running for Congress because I believe we need more unique voices that represent the broad American history. I believe our problems today will not be solved by those looking for a political career, but instead, but those who love our country and truly understand his promise. I'm Burgess Owens. I'm not a politician. I'm the great-great-grandson of a former slave who knows just how important our freedoms are. And I'm willing to do all within my power to preserve them.